time to go bankrupt a man. Right, so... Unlike every other part I recorded... Oh, fuck. Yeah, well, no, this is part of the course. Great. Um, unlike every other part I recorded, I actually took a break between City in the Sky and this. Oh, two letters. Ooh, nice. I've been away for a while. Um, that was recorded on the 30th, apparently. This is the 4th of June. Wow, crazy. Um, so, admittedly, like... I kind of wanted to just take advantage of the time I have off, because, well, currently when I'm recording this, it's still in a state where most people, well, most schools are doing learning from home, so someone like me, working as a relief teacher, a substitute, if you will, is kind of out of work right now. That's fine. Welfare's fine. Suck on that. Um, so I wanted to try to get it done, but honestly, like... I don't know if this came across but during the recording, but I really don't think I was happy with the last couple of episodes. Um, you're going down in a second. Just hold on. Let me get this shit done. Um, I wasn't really happy with it. I kind of felt like I just kind of... I was talking about random bullshit. <laughs> more so than usual. And not like I was not enjoying the game anymore, but just... I don't know. Like, I, I hate... All, I Normally, I'm not a fan of this whole people opening up on YouTube to fans, but, like, um, I don't know if it comes across as, like, obvious, but I'm kind of pretty critical of myself to the extent of, like, well, yeah, my detriment, I guess. Yeah, let's, but let's do this. Like, I'm, I'm happy, I, like, I know what I can do well. Apparently, editing music video, yeah, game music is one of those things. Um, but, like, I just really wasn't happy with how stuff was panning out. I just needed a break. Um, mentally, I guess. Um, because it was kind of going to shit. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this, other than, um, I like making these vids and all, but yeah, I, I think I kind of lost the thread towards the end. Yeah. And, yeah. Kind of, I think it was kind of impacting the quality of the vids, which I'm not, I'm not implying was hard to begin with. It was fine. But, you know. Yes, I'm kind of just going all over the place. I'm not really doing this the correct critical path, I suppose. I got plenty of time. I'm sure it'll pan out correctly. I'm sure it'll work. Work for George Lucas, after all. They're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. Fans are gonna love it. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, now I'm seeing my tragic, tragic mistake of Dark Plagueis the Wise. Uh-oh. I did not follow a critical path. Therefore, this is shit. Maybe I should have taken more time off. Great. But yeah. Won't really go on about any more of that, but yeah. It was just kind of like, I just wasn't feeling like it was gonna- Oh fuck, what's going on here? Gamepad Kun, why are you betraying me? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I was actually contemplating cutting it, but fuck it. Yeah. So yeah, unfortunately, I fucked up. Big time. So let's try this again. Damn, we get- I missed it. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. God damn it. Let's go up here, I guess. I'm fucking it up again, no doubt. Wow, this is going swimmingly. Christ. Oh, it's all the skill I didn't have. Like, I fucking started a character... Like, in between this, I've started a character in Dark Souls 2, and I'm up to the DLC. I'm fucking clearing Broom Tower right, right now, because Shelver's gonna wait a sec. Because I'm not dealing with poison poison. Um... Yeah. This, this uh, bears the question, why don't you just play Dark Souls? Well, maybe I will one day, but um, I don't feel like doing free. Because, <laughs> um, like, it's more about I wouldn't want to finish it. I, I don't like going the whole way through Dark Souls 3. As good as it is. That is not to imply the game is bad, because as I've said, I love it a fuck ton. But, oh, come on, we can do this. Surely. Oh, we're cutting it close. 
There we go. Fuck. Sorry, I did that the shittest way possible. M Massacre. Buckner. Superstar. Tigger the Criver. Oh, Christ. Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, wait, really? That was it? Oh, fuck this. Okay. Alright, if I cut that, um, it was 100 rupees. I don't know if I did, but yeah. I think I did. You know what? Fuck it. Nothing was really gained from keeping that in, so fuck it. I've cut it, I guess. Yeah, thank girls are chasing me. Go away. I'm being all... Like, not, no, not Sun Sun, not Sun Dairy. Um, I'm being all aloof, I guess. Ah, uh, fucking no. Anyway, we're going here. Time to go to the final dungeon, not really. But yeah, um, in the part I cut out, I was saying Judgmental Critter, who does awesome videos, uploaded um, a review of um, Little Witch Academia, which is a fucking good show, Trigger a Good in general. So if you like the animes, go watch that shit. I watched it back when it was subbed, but it was a really good video, just... Oh, it was just, just a good review in general. I mean, I'm plugging a far bigger channel than I am, but... Just felt the need to say it. And, and a good, um, good connection to the whole themes of... Well, being an artist or a creative type, I guess. I remember seeing, um... Many years ago when I watched the sub version, so, like, what, 27... Yeah, was it 2017? I think it was. Um, or 18, I can't fucking remember, it's been so long. But someone made, was was in a thread talking about, like, it's an allegory for the animation in industry. Where, um, you know, Akko represents the, uh, the new up-and-coming coming animators. And Diana represents, the uh, best girl, by the way, represents Disney. Anna and Barbera, well, yeah, <laughs> Hannah and Barbara, uh, well, Hannah Barbera and all that. And the old witches are meant to be the old fuddy duddies. I guess is the nicest way to put it. Anyway, I should be paying attention to the story. But, um. Yes. Oh, someone's embarrassed because they knew she was the Twilight Princess TM. Mmm, what's this? Boy, I hope the fucking phone isn't picking up through the wall and the door. <gasps> yeah, Midna really doesn't look complete without, you know, w without the helmet. I mean, it's not bad, but yeah, the helmet definitely, you can tell she was designed with the helmet in mind. I mean, I could be wrong, I don't remember the fucking... If Hyrule Historia has that whole thing of, like, explaining the designs. But it definitely feels like she was designed with the helmet in mind. Because, yeah, that's helmet hair. <laughs> or reverse helmet hair. Yes, do the creepy evil... F Ooh, yeah, do that face. Hmm. I'm not gonna say it looks bad. For the time period, that's pretty good animation, but even then... It's uh, just unsettling in general, which is obviously the intent. Oh yeah, remember this shit? Yeah, I remember that. That was... Close to three weeks ago. Ah, uh, yep, to the creepy smile, yep. Yep. For, for all the criticisms about, like, the darker art style and muddy textures, you can't really knock him for, you know, not, you know, for not having expressive faces. Expressive expressions, I guess, is one way to put it. It's not quite Wind Waker, of course, but that's, yeah, cartoony. I don't think I needed to say that, but I did. Yeah, Wind Waker is Wind Waker. And I started thinking maybe I should have done Wind Waker instead of this. 
Mm, yeah. I think Wind Waker is the kind of thing I'd rather wait until I'm... Yeah, like, I guess you could say, oh, I'm finding my feet. I don't know if I fucking am, to be quite honest, but, like... Wind Waker feels like the kind of thing I'd rather do in the long run. When I'm, you know, better at this, better at editing and all that. Um, that said, I did Bloodborne first, and that's tied my first game ever. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's tied my favourite game ever. My first game would have been, like, what, fucking Croc on the PS1? I think? I think that's the first one we owned. Yep, immediately. Yeah? What now? Yeah? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, hide my shadow, girl. I guess. I, I'm sorry. Now, I remember this is a cool place in... Um... Why am I blanking on the name? Even though I fucking know it, um, Hyrule Warriors. Me saying I blanked on the name took longer to explain the damn thing. They are cool though. He's also floating. He is floating. You, sir, are not. Nope. You are also floating. And how about him? He doesn't appear... He appears not to be floating. These are some cool designs, though. If you can't tell, they're a little uh, malformed and twisted. Because of the headpiece. That is a creepy idea, though, that, like, your face can be turned into that. Kind of body horror-esque, I guess. I mean, you wouldn't think about it too deeply in a Zelda. I know. I never did. But, well, here I am. Talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna think. I was thinking like I wouldn't be able to, you know, work this in organically. But yeah, if you couldn't tell from the fact that my first two LPs were Bloodborne and Resident Evil, um, and yeah, other than the fact I've stated it several times, yeah, I, I kind of like horror just a little. Maybe just fraction. Hold on a second. I've got to do this shit. I forgot how annoying this is. There we go. Um, I like horror quite a bit. And the other night, I had a compulsion to find some old story I remember from close to five years ago. Um, I was never a person who's really into all the creepy pasta stuff. But for a while, I remember, um, one of my brother's mates, um, uh, used to come around here, you know, quite a bit. And I think it was like basically every weekend. And he'd always put on, like, one of those YouTube videos of, like, oh, fuck, um, of, like, a reading of a creepypasta. And, yeah, most of them, most of them are the generic, ooh, serial killer who smiles or something, or some creepy to teenagers kind of shit. Not saying I was necessarily above that at the time. I was in second year of uni, so, I mean, I was above it, I guess, but I'm not trying to sound elitist, I guess, is how I'm trying to phrase this. But there was always one story I remember that was pretty cool, um, and I'd managed to find it again via the doors and the stair- the door and the stairway, I think is the name. It's either that or with plural, in, you know, plural, with plural, with plural with <laughs> you know, it's either door, door and the stairway or the doors and the stairways, but I'm pretty sure it's door and stairway. Anyway, besides the point, you'll find it if you look it up. Um, Turns out, a lot of people regard that as a good story in its own right. And the guy who wrote it went on, or at the time, I don't know, is was or is actually a writer. Professional. Well, you know, to some capacity. Hey. Show your face. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, we're hitting the wall, of course. Oh, yeah, but he can hit through it, of course. Anyway, this is what this does. Dice. But, yeah, that was always a really good story, because, yeah, also, sense, very handy here. It always, um, I don't know what I liked about it so much, but I started to figure this out, coincidentally enough, when I played Dark Souls 1. And then, Dark Souls 1. Man, my speaking stills. <laughs> my speaking stills. 
My capacity to talk has taken a hit still. Fucking Christ. Anyway. Oh yeah, two chests. Nice. Um, when I was playing DS1, I kind of made the connection in my head of a type of, I guess you'd call it almost subgenre of horror I like, but isn't really, or a niche, I guess. Also, these guys do a fuck ton. Holy shit. I should get good at the combat, because next episode, I'm doing the fucking pit of ordeals. Cave of ordeals. Pit of trials. Bane is not down the bottom. Nor is he the warden. That's pretty funny, that part of the Harley Quinn show where Bane's the... Bane's, like, helping all the villains and whatever. You know, get, get back on track and solve their problems. But, anyway. What I was trying to say before I made my dumb joke, as per usual, was... That when I was playing Dark Souls 1, other than, you know, loving the game a lot... I, when I eventually got to, well, I'm one of those weird people that not only, not only likes areas like Blight Town and the gutter, I actually really like, um, Tomb of the Giants. Um, which is odd for most people, because I know most people hate it or, you know. I, I'm not going to say bandwagon, but like a lot of people have come to the conclusion it's bad. And arguably, yeah, I get it. I guess it's more in terms of aesthetic, but, um, as I was playing it, I came to realize, especially that, uh, once you get into that last stretch, um, when you go into the little cave where you get ambushed by the archer skeleton and the dude who kicked, you know, the big skeleton that kicked you off a cliff, um, I realized that I really like the kind of horror, and this is kind of hard to explain, where it's like someone descending deeper and deeper underground and finding like some like abomination or something fucking terrible really and there's that movie the the descent which is about like a a bunch of um explorers bunch of cave divers going to a cave also keys yeah how threatening um we're gonna go wolf for this because fuck um they descend and they find monsters which is fine. Like, the movie's alright. I haven't watched it proper. I've seen, I think I've seen majority or most of it off YouTube clips. But, um... It, it's not a bad movie. It's pretty good, I guess. But it's not quite the kind of horror I'm thinking of. It's more like... And I guess this is the best way to imagine it. Imagine, like, you had a game... Like, with similar style to Bloodborne, I guess. Except instead of, like, you're slaughtering the monsters. It's more like... You're descending deeper and deeper into the earth, and then you find a Bloodborne boss. <laughs> then you find a Brightus. Kind of thing. You find something Lovecraftian, and I realized, and this is long winded, I apologize, that the doors in the stairway kind of goes into this kind of thing. Because turns out the guy wrote a fucking anthology. <laughs> There's a whole ton of sequels and spin offs, and it's really well written and great. But like. He goes into, like, describing, like, a dead city and, like, some monster with, like, multiple limbs, wings, and black carapace. All this kind of Lovecraftian imagery and all that. And, you know, I, you know, I played Bloodborne. I think you can draw your own conclusion there. Um, but no, I, I really fucking liked that when I, des when I descended into Tomb of the Giants. That... Not even sense of foreboding, because, well, it's Dark Souls. So I was overpowered, I had Havel's armor on, using Pyro Flames, and a fucking plus 15 or plus 14 gar Gargoyle's Halberd. I wasn't fucking worried. <laughs> Nido still gave me a run for money, but I really like that idea of just descending and going and going and going. Like, into nothingness. I always thought that would be a nice... Oh, like, there's probably a game like this, but the idea of it, like... Not even you're a cave explorer, but I don't... I, like, I don't really care about the setup in this example, but it's like... You're in a you're in a cave system... Shit collapses hard... And you're just forced to go in and in... And deeper and deeper... Until you find... You know, a way out. And that's when you find the abomination at the end. Also, wall master, or floor master, or in this case, air master, I guess... <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck you. Go away. Let me finish my dumb horror anal analogy. Some bitch. Just gonna fucking get it. This guy gives you a lot of time. Oh, they can't even get up, idiots. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. 
Um, good thing I got the big quiver, because shooting that hand is going to be very handy. Haha, -ha, pumps. But yeah. That was kind of long-winded, I guess. Only five minutes in contrast to some other fucking rants. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, no, that kind of horror has always, I guess, you know, resonated. No, not really. But, um, I've just kind of realized I'm fond of that idea. Oh, fucking Christ. This I did not miss. Oh, God. Can you guys go away, please? Excuse me. Excuse me. There's not evil within, but it might as well be. You, can you fuck off? Oh, yeah, that's right. You take more than that, don't you? One. Okay, yep. It's always free. Okay, there's that. Which is easy to... It's going to be easy to fucking snipe him afterwards. What the hell? Really? Really? What the hell? You kidding me? Wow. Where? Ah, oh, don't you even think about it, dickhead. Get good. Casual. That's weird. Uh, what am I missing? Like, I can just snipe this guy for ages. It's not really a problem, but like... Link, what are you doing? I'm trying to solve this. Stop. Please. Why can't I get there? What the hell? I guess I'm going to go to the wall. I'm just going to wait for this guy for one second. So yeah, if he grabs it, he'll... You've got time to stop him. You've got to, um... Make him drop it before he disappears through... Yeah, through the door. Wow. I'm dumb. I should have done this beforehand. One, two, fuck off. Slow down on the swearing because the children might be listening. Nah. I mean, I could. Probably should. You know what? No. <laughs> I bet you don't. Oh. No. He's twitching. You've seen him. He's got them jazz hands going on. Yoink. I didn't want to risk timing it. I'd, I'd rather just get this done. I mean... Do these... Yeah, no, these guys must have been, been in the original, but wow. I wasn't expecting... Jesus, fuck. You go away. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. Thank you. One more room and we are out of here. Congratulations. Oh, here he comes. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. That was a shitty rendition of Mr. X's music. I mean, it's not Nemesis speed, that's for sure. Hey, okay, there's cool stuff behind these walls, but we'll, uh, we'll do that afterwards. We'll do that afterwards. Because maybe, just maybe, um, you know, we might be able to come back even though we're using, well, we're taking a ball out. A ball of light. A ball of twilight, whatever. Now it's light. <gasps> You've turned into something more normal, I guess. Looks like you're wearing a weird stripper hoodie, I guess. It's not the most eloquent way to, way to phrase it, nor am I shaming anyone. Yeah, that's right, he's he's a short little squat dude. You are the same as him. Okay, we have seen two models. We have seen two different models. Oh no, three, what am I saying? Three different models. I think, yeah, maybe that guy's different, I don't know. I'm technically putting this on the wrong side, but who gives this stuff? Purist, that's who. No. That's right. The soul. Do you get it? Because sun, I guess. Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay, good. I've got the fairy on my bottle, I've got the rare chew jelly, and I have the fairy's tears. Which I'm gonna get a good amount of next episode. Of the next episode. Again, assuming I'm just uploading this in, like, hour, two hour long chunks. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm doing. I mean, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend. It's easier. With a program that's... 
Uh, you know, I can't really criticize Shotcut for what it is. It's free. And not even like in a it's free to play kind of way where you should critique it. It's like, you know, it's fine. It's quite good for what it does. I can't really judge it that hard. Here we go. Hmm. That is curious, is it not? I wonder what might happen there. Hmm. Amazing. Chest. Chest. Stupid floating head. Of course. At least you know fucking possessed armor. In fucking Iron King's Tower of Bullshit. Alright, where you at? Where you at? Don't even get the flourish. The head is more pathetic than a boblin, apparently. <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know. I mean, I'm you know, the second I think of something like, you know, what I'm about to say, it's pretty damn obvious, but... Some speedrunners obviously sequence broke the game hard enough where... Wait, no, what am I saying? Fucking, I've got the order on sword, I could swap to it. Sorry, don't worry, I was gonna say like, oh, I wonder what happens if you just swap to the Auron Sword um, to get you know, the soul infused into it instead and then I realised, wait, I can. Oh that's right, because there's one in the mist. In the mist! Again, a good movie I have referred to several times throughout my LPs. Yeah, you bats, the fucking most noble of creatures. The, ro the Royal Bat Authority. Fucking royal rat beat the shit out of me a few times, not gonna lie. I don't mind the fight that much, I know it's a little... It's not as great as other fights, it's not Sif for example, but... Royal rat's alright. I don't mind it. Can you? Alright, where you at, where you at, where you at? Oh, that's right, it's not even... It's not I'm hitting a wall, it's you fucking... You're, you're a dick when it comes to getting hit by arrows. Come on, what you got, what you got? I'm gonna get hit but I don't really care at this point. I got so much health, it doesn't matter. Oh, we one more combo in the other one. Speaking of combos, I've got a copy of Undernight in Birth. Um, well, I should just say Eunist, I guess. That came the other day, so I've got to boot that up and give that a shot. I would have liked to get the Switch version so I could have, like, coerced a friend into getting it, because no one... Not many of my friends actually have PS4s, nor what they play them. Yeah, I knew it was the wrong way. I wasn't looking at the fucking map. Apologies. But, um... You know. I, I've got the fucking $300 Razer Arcade stick for... Wait, what? Am I dumb? Yes. Yeah, we've been through this. You are. Of course. Sorry, me. Um, but yeah. I'm not forking out money to get a Switch-based arcade stick on top of... On top of that. No. Oh. I mean, I'd be interested, but like... I've heard you can, if you know what you're doing, you can, like, break the Razer stick to be usable with different systems. Which would be cool. That'd be great. I'd like that. I mean, I, I can already use it on my PC when I want to give, like, Skullgirls, which I'm shit at, a shot, or Killer Instinct, which I'm shit at. You might be noticing a pattern here. I can't really wrap my head around KI. I... I've watched a few videos, mostly fucking old fisticuffs. Um, again, thank you, Zaibatsu. That's gonna come up a ton still. Um, but like, I understand how the systems in KI work. It's just rather different to what I can't even really say I'm used to in fighting games because I don't play many fighting games. <laughs> I try, but I'm very surface le le uh, very surface le level casual, I guess. Who would like to try? I mean, Smash Bros. was the closest thing I played to a, well, 
I should just say, well, it's a fighting game or whatever. Fucking, why am I bothering? It's a fighting game. Anyway, um, point is, Unist, very cool. I'm gonna give that a shot later. Good shit. I would like to trick someone, I mean, get, you know, encourage someone to play it with me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So they could be on a pad going, what do I do? And I'm clacking away on the stick. Ooh, 20 rupee, but I don't need groovy. You know, I could just put on that armor for later. The rupee armor. That I put on in the Temple of Time for laughs. I should probably do that. I probably will. If I don't, yeah. The Cave of Ordeals, definitely. I've got the rupees for it. I know one room in... Oh, fuck, that peaked. Apologies. I know one room in particular I'm fucking using that in. It's the last one. You know. With that fight. <laughs> do I want to commit to doing a second run through? Uh, not this game. No, don't worry. I'm not doing that. A second run through of the Cave of Ordeals, or rather just cut to the last room the second time. Again, people that know this game will understand what I'm putting down here. Um, because that's a cool addition. Oh, fuck. Oh, Christ, I forgot how... I forgot this happened. Fucking Deku shits. Deku Baba motherfuckers. Deku serpents. Baba, serpent, whatever the fuck the guide calls you, I don't remember. I haven't looked at it for days. Oh, they're gone, nice. Hey, fucker, get here. Where you at? Alright, fuck this wolf form. Just cause. I bet he stops this time. Yeah, he stops this time. Bark, bark. Oh. Shitlord. You know, quite the shamans in the fishing hamlet, so that's nice. I wonder when I'm just going to have my next little bit of compulsion to go play fucking Bloodborne again. The weirdest thing was, whoa, hey, hey boys. Oh boy. That could be bad. Oh good, they don't do the dumb shit. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to start playing Bloodborne next for myself, not for the channel. Don't, don't worry. We're not having a Bloodborne Redux yet, at least. Maybe around Halloween time. I know a bunch of people replay it then. Oh, Christ. Guess it's happening sooner than we assumed. Which is whack it on because fuck you. I, I'm never going to be on uh, low enough rupees to demonstrate it, but... If you do get the low enough rupees, you move slow as fuck. Oh, what bullshit's gonna happen? Oh. I should just heal, but fuck this. What are those moves? You just have to put it with a dumb sound the whole fight now. Sorry. But how it's gonna be. <laughs> Someone was salty. I assume this works in wolf, right? Oh no, the armor doesn't work in wolf form. How about that? I oh, can't even change it. Huh. I can't transform either because I'm there. Yeah. I've never actually thought to try that. Crazy, huh? I should put the Ganondorf amiibo on right at the end just to make it hell. Yeah. No, maybe I'll do that in Cave of Ordeals. Um, the Ganondorf amiibo makes shit even harder. To the extent where, well, uh, I'm taking quadruple damage at this point. Or at that point. Yeah, fuck it, here's the Fairy's Tears. I'm not putting up with this. The Golden Link, like the Golden Cuckoo. Majestic, isn't it? Narrated by a shitty Morgan Freeman impersonator. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm 
Morgan Freeman impersonator. It was just a shitty impersonation. Holy shit, that guy ate. That guy ate it hard. Really? He didn't even put it down? Fuck you. Maybe the friends, maybe the people, the friends we made along were the casuals all along. Uh oh, I thought I fucking did that. Hey shitlord, drop the ball. Oh! <laughs> that didn't spook me per se, but whoa, was not expecting it. Can you guys all fuck off for like five seconds please? Excuse me, sirs, sirs, sirs. Alright. We're gonna wait on we're gonna wait on floor dipshit. Come back here, asshole. Fall off your horse. What the, that was a good way to say horse. Fall off your horse. That was a JoJo reference, as the kids call it. Because I like the Joey JoJo Shabadoo. That was the wrong button to press. That was the right button to press now. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to solve this. Ah, uh, yep, yep, that's it. Go away. Okay, yeah, oh, yep, I could do it. Gotta do this quickly, because. Fucking floor guy. God damn it. Th that's me relying on the gyro there. For, for as much as I tout gyro as being awesome, I should just be using the fucking sticks. I've come to realize this was a dumb plan. And this served no purpose in the grand scheme of things. That one missed. Nice. I am fucking this up. Very professionally, too. Damn it. I was hoping to tempt fate. Maybe join up with the apostles. Worked for Griffith after all, so, you know. Okay, you can't just do this. I was just getting trolled. Very hard. By the fucking enemies. Holy shit. I shouldn't doubt myself in this case. I remember this game pretty damn well, I think. I like to think the gameplay establishes that. So, on a completely, completely, completely unrelated note, also you fuck off, um, I'm up to 40 pose. Really? Thanks. Ow. So, I am wondering, like, if it's gonna be, like, well, I'm gonna try to get the last 20. I gotta feel motivated. That's the real challenge. Okay, can you go away, please? Yeah, as Virgil would say. Killed before a time, but killed them all. Passed down by righteous law. I missed. As far as the eye can see. Okay, what treasure is there to get in here? I did all that. So I should be worrying about floor dick. That's a completely different thing, and I don't like that subject matter, in fact. Because, hopefully, if he drops it, yep. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Can't say I play games for a living. If I did, then that'd be embarrassing. Wow, that looked kind of dodgy, but in a good way. Drop the crack, Pat. Something about Persona. Speaking of which, I've got to, I've got to play the Royal. Just arrived the other day with Eunice. So that's cool. Ah, shit, that's right. Come back, shit lord. I'm making this look way worse than it is. 
Professionals have standards, but, well, I'm no pro. So, in that capacity, I'm not expected to be polite, efficient. Or, you know, that last part. Get it? Because meet the team. Meet, meet the sniper. Remember TF2? I remember TF2. What a fun game that was. It still is. I don't play it, though. Well, that's Z fighting, that part of the hand. Alright, shit lord, come down. I dare you. Yeah, how are you feeling about that? No? Oh, fuck you. And we're back in this room. Um, and so we'll miss the five finger discount in a second. Wait, oh fuck, what am I doing? And we're finally back in this fucking room. Holy crap. I stuffed that up twice. Oh, there's Mr. Five Finger Discount. Can you go away, please? We're taking a hard line stance to fucking shoplifters and their Z fighting bums. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. Turns out a lot of those enemies respawn, so I just got sick of it and decided to fin the horde with this. Have we learned a lesson? I guess not. Guess I didn't even need to do that. We can outrun you easily, Mr. X. Yeah, you know what? Perfect place to shoehorn Resident Evil talk in this. I, I was thinking about this earlier, and like... One of, like... Well, obviously, our Remake 3 has flaws. No shit. I still like it a lot. And even though it is objectively a worse game than Remake 2, I think I do genuinely prefer it anyway. But, um, I was going to say one, like, flaw with it, which actually shows its strength, is the fact that I just wish there was more of it, because that first Nemesis fight is so fucking good. And that's all I really wanted to say. Um, I should be paying attention to the light sword we got. We can't let... Prince Light, whatever, get the light shard, skeleton warriors. Da 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 da. da. That matches did a video about it. it. Was pretty fucking good. Long live Skeleton Ball, the true hero of Dark Souls. What? Dark Souls Three is what I meant to say. Yes. All right, we're going back for some chests. If there's shit, I'll cut it. It's gonna be fucking rupees, in it. Yeah. Ugh. Hope not. Hope there's something worth getting. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. Can you please go away, please? Before I make a very predictable joke again. Too easy. I wash my hands with your blood. I mean, I kind of made the joke anyway. Parry that. How the fuck? Ah, oh, that's how. Yeah, that's how. Duh. Sorry. Sorry I'm being so quiet. I'm just trying to figure this out again. Yeah, so this is the mechanic um, you will see used in a little bit. I don't know why that was so stilted. Oh, thank Christ. Yeah, it was something worthwhile. Yes, guess I'm not cutting this. Yay. I mean, I guess that was supposed to be a shaped box. Fucking, if copyright detection got that, I would be impressed. Because that sounded garbage. <laughs> Trying to out myself as one of those weirdos of, you know what, I understand the support, the importance of them, but I like Foo Fighters more than Nirvana, I'm sorry. I just like Dave and the, Dave and the guys. 
Wait. Oh, yeah, of course. This is how you get out. Light up the sky. Illuminate. Here comes the dance we instigate. Um, Keith Flint. 2018. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should be laughing, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I like my foos. A little bit too much, I guess. Don't let it go to waste. Well, I, I love it and I do like the taste, in fact, so. Yeah. There's that. I got nothing. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm doing this as like a joke, pretending, but I'm starting to think, oh shit, have I actually run out of shit to say? Um, how do you feel about um, st stuff? See, it's not a direct Simpsons reference, but it's close enough. Oh, one thing I should mention, unfortunately, the sword doesn't quite use beam attacks. This isn't like, you know, old Master Swords, nor is it like, you know, something made of Moonlight, perhaps, that you get from Seif, the bitch. Hey, so it's, <laughs> speaking of, um, no, no, not speak. No, what am I saying? Ignore me. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm scared, help. That's all the chests um, that are there so far, so good. Um, we got most of the heart pieces. That's nice. Wait. Let's have a look. How many am I off? Am I off by three or two? Two, okay. So, as such, there are five heart pieces I have not collected in the whole game. Oh, that's right. Sorry. To be putting this out, it's like, what the hell is that noise? That makes some weird noises. I was super weirded out because it echo it's echoing because of the Elgato, you know, in my headphones. I was like, what the fuck was that? So it's like the you know the angry game nerd with Ghostbusters. What the fuck was that? I mean, it's so Top Gun, which I've referenced several times. Sick of you. Nice. Can't you super spin no more? It would be a little try to say aura because it was on an aura aura punch. But I guess you could say Omai wa mo shindeiru. Why am I holding that for so long? That looks dumb. It wasn't a stroke, I swear. I mean, maybe it was, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in one of the other parts, but I I did just, um, well, I, I bought and I've received in between, but um, I've received um, Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. Now, I've never really played, well, I've never, I don't know a lot about, um, wait, really? Huh, I feel like something should be happening. I don't... Yeah, what am I... Oh, that's right, you... Yeah. Yeah. I I don't really know much about Fist of the North Star. Other than it's pretty cool. And, well, you know, Araki might have been a little influenced by it when he decided to make Jojo a thing. But, you know. I don't know. I don't know if you could prove that, you know, outside of court. <laughs> but... Yeah, no. That's a good game, apparently. I've never tried Yakuza either, so I'm excited to give it a shot. Also, yes, I've turned into a wolf yet again. Hadi ha 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 ha. Furries, am I right? I mean, I, 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 I kind of mentioned Skullgirls briefly, but, um, man, people trying to mod Sonic Fox out of the game is fucking hilarious. I'm not, not saying they should, I'm not condoning that. Like, you know, it's their game, ultimately they can. Also, yeah, we do way more damage to them now. But, Christ. Imagine being that fucking salty. 
over a single player. That triggered, if you will. Snowflakes, am I right? Ha ha ha. Oh my god, there's another one of you. You really don't want me to fucking get on that. First chest, do ya? Come on. Oh, damn it. Mm, almost happened. But yeah. I'm kind of dating this episode. I mean, well, I dated the episode quite literally. So people can know that the world changed quite a bit in between City in the Sky and now. See, Bioshock Infinite wasn't um, unsubtle. I wouldn't know anyway because I never fucking played it. It's no Detroit. Become human, that's for damn sure. No, do you get it? The uh, ro the androids are not... Like, what an accent am I going for? That's not what David Cage sounds like. I don't even know what he fucking... Like, no, no, I do know what he sounds like. I just can't do it. Um, but yeah, the androids are not an allegory for slavery. I don't know why you would say that. Well, they use a certain symbol. And, uh... <laughs> Phrase, perhaps, at a critical story moment. Oh, I've got to rewatch those LPs because I'm not—I'm probably not buying the game unless I find it like cheap for twenty bucks, <laughs> just to show people, just to show. Uh, the David Cage shit talk is going to be a staple of this channel, so I apologise if it's getting old. But um, you know, I played Beyond Two Souls with friends. I've done my time. I've done. I've, I've done my service. You can thank me for it. Um, I think. Wait, is there something up here yet, or are we coming up here preemptively? Oh, boss key is here. Sick. So you know, I, I have. After playing his game, I have a right to critique David Cage's shitty writing ability. <laughs> yeah. Ow! I didn't time that roll properly. Oh, good, good, uh, good end here, good end here, good, good end here, fucker. Alright, let's do this, let's do this, footsies. <laughs> Come on, trumpet birds. Gonna knock you all the way back to Xenoblade, a joke I've made every time you've shown up, I think. Yeah. Get it. Alright, so, there's a room there. It's not gone now, that's for sure. Burb? Where you at? What you got? Hmm. 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 I've never made that secret noise before in my life. Can you go away, please? Thank you. Alright, are you ready? Because we're gonna fly. This bird's gonna fly. I sounded excited. Hmm. Sir, I do not want to hear the good word of Jesus Christ. I'm quite fine. Alright, fuck you, buddy. Oh, you need to go away. Because I can't figure out what I'm meant to do. Perfect. See what I mean? I've been re-watching DS2, I've been replaying DS2. DS2. I will, I'll, I'll do an LP of that eventually, I'm sure, but... Well... Oh my god, fucking really? Can't spawn over here, you cowards, I dare you. Um, that's a long game. Longer than this. Oh my god, what the hell? Do I have to go back? I've been hacked, I've been bamboozled, trolled, etc. I've been trolled harder than Tails ever got trolled. Which, I guess is hard, because I've never actually read Tails got trolled. I should though, apparently. That seems like someone's magnum opus, that's for damn sure. It sure as hell ain't my magnum opus. Maybe that, um, maybe that Astral Chain video, yeah, yeah, that's a good descriptor. The, uh, the one that's going to take 20, it's going to be running for like 20, 30 minutes. The chapter 7 one. Maybe that's my magnum opus. Once I've, uh, oh that was weird. Once I've appropriately synced the battle theme. Fucking, that's the worst part, where it's like, 
I know I've got to loop something and it's got to match up to the other one. And I have that moment of triumph of, it sounds good, I've looped it. And then I put it next to the ambient theme, quote unquote. Non-combat people call it, whatever. And, well, you get past the first, you know, you get to the first loop and realize, oh shit, it desyncs immediately. Just pulling back the curtain a tiny bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's frustrating to say the least. Because I spent a good I spent a good fucking while trying to sync it. And I spent a good while trying to fix it. I've still got to fix it. In fact, my name is not Mister Fix It, and no, it does not feel good. I'm sorry. Wait, why did I come back here? Why did I come back here? <laughs> Link, you got some answer. You, you've you've got some fucking questions to answer for, right? You got some things to answer for. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. English, yeah. I've wasted twenty-two arrows. Wait, what? Am I, wait, what? Eighty-two. Twenty-two. What am I fucking thinking? Does Twilight Princess melt my brain? Is that what's going on? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't play Wind Waker. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that'll kill me. Yeah, maybe reliving one of my childhood favorites will just fucking murder me. Yeah, oh, there we go. No style, no grace. You guys do have technically funny faces. Can you handstand when you need to? Stretch your arms out. Just for you. DK, DK, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is not here, though. Donkey Kong's pretty fun in Smash Bros. He's... Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, Donkey Kong's pretty fun in Smash. And for Smash Bros. One, one of my brothers really likes him. And then I picked him up the other night to just go like, Ah, oh, let's figure some stuff out. And I did. And that was pretty funny, because he won K. Rool and I fucking destroyed him. <laughs> uh, nah. Like, it, it was pretty even all night, but it was just... I, I don't know, I just fucking beasted somehow, I guess. I don't remember which is which, I don't remember what um, denotes the correct one, so... Trial and error, perhaps. No, I just got kind of lucky. I had two... St we we um, normally do free stock with items. Ooh, controversial, I know. Um, oh, fuck. Headphones. Oh, sorry. I was messing around with my headphones and it was kind of annoying. Alright, let's try this. Um, left one fell out of my ear. That was fun. But yeah, no. Nah. That was a good time. It was fun. Really good. It was pretty close the whole night, it was just, I got some lucky hits in, I guess is the best way to phrase it. Did I fuck up? I did not. The camera, however, is damn certain to. It's trying its hardest. Trying its darndest. Y'all could say. Can you go away, please? Sir. Yeah? I could bounce that back to you, but it's not fucking worth it. See you later. Sup? What's going on in this thread? That's what's going on in this thread. Suck it. Hmm. It appears some bullshit is trying to. Is, you know, well, someone's trying to cause some bullshit. I fucked up the timing. Fantastic. The quality you expect from this channel. Also, the quality you expect from this channel. Oh, okay, fuck you. That part isn't worth it. It's a chest, however, and guess what? That might be worth it. Oh no. Oh no. Play the music. Hear it, Johnny. Oh, can we just... Yes! Aha! I thought we could, but I didn't want to try initially, just cause. 
Ah, oh, there you are, fucker. Can we, can we, oh, damn it. I'm just lucky it didn't stop midair. Well, but I made it across, because I would have fallen all the way, oh, phew. I was really worried it was going to happen anyway. Hey, small key, nice. Well, this dungeon is longer than I expected. Even though I knew it was longer than... I was thinking it was. That sentence was weird. I don't know why. You ready for boss fights? Because I'm fucking ready. I've got a theory. I've got my rare chew jelly. Um, boss fight in one room at least. We've got this. Then boss fight. I didn't forget, you forgot. Shut up. Is there a fairy here? I can't remember. <laughs> well, that was totally accidental. 1-800 eat shit. I've never seen that sketch, I just heard it referenced once again last night. Oh. Well. Um. For some reason I got the compulsion to start um, quoting or referencing some kind of monster by Metallica, but I don't know the lyrics. Just because I think it would be dumb. Dumber than usual, and it probably makes someone mad. Because you could say that this monster lives. We the people. Call it St. Anger's Day! Yeah, Lars, that was a, that was a classic idea, that. And watching that documentary for the first time in 2010 was a fucking blast. I don't, I don't know if I retold it. It's not particularly eventful, but I might have mentioned it. But like, yeah, brother had it on one of the TVs. And another one of my brothers and I were playing fucking, what was it? It was Call of Duty World at War, like split screen, 1v1. Well, we were 1v1ing each other while listening to Lars. Um, go on about St. Anger's Day. So there's, you know, there's that. I also remember listening to a lot of Iron Maiden while playing Metroid, um... I was gonna say Prime, but no, Metroid Other M. I was gonna say Metroid Prime Other M, and that would trigger some people. And understandably. Also, here you go. Are you ready? Isn't it ironic? To quote Clarkson, irony deficiency. I saw a clip from that old Top Gear episode where they go to Alabama. <laughs> the one that was apparently super not faked. Oh boy. That was something, alright. Anyway, um, here you go. So, I'm obviously going to have to talk about the thing. If you've made it this far, I'm just going to assume you know. Because my hand, yep, my hand is kind of forced. Um, yeah. It's good they lent into it in Hyrule, in Hyrule Warriors. So. When I was 13 playing this, um, obviously, I, sorry, hit the desk there. I obviously can't say I saw this coming per se. I don't think anyone necessarily thought this would happen, but not, nor do I think it's bad. Is that giving this game a bit too much leeway? Perhaps. Do I care? Nah. So he found God. Um, apparently. I said that and Just a Man by Faith No More popped into my head. That's also a good fucking song. Anyway. Um, yes, this is a bit of a turn. I've seen people theorize and like... I don't know if it's just theorize, but... Maybe it's based off stuff in the game. There's the implication... And I... You know what, saying this, I know it's alluded to. But the fact that, yeah, Xanta... Xant isn't quite in control anyway. Because he kind of got his power from someone. Um, Mr. Warlock Punch himself. Who's in the Din's fire, I guess. Get in the ball of fire, Zant. 
we're going posing. There he is. The smoke monster from that show I never watched. I shall house my power in. If there is anything you desire, then I shall desire it too. So, people were theorizing that not only was he getting the power, that, like, it's either Ganon's personality or confidence was bleeding into him, or, you know, just having that power just gave him the confidence. It made him a strong, independent Twily. Twily. Um, yeah, Twily. I think that's it. Twily is a different thing. Twily is purple smart. Anyway, are you ready for one of the sickest fights in the game? Let's fucking go. This is one of the best uses of music I've seen in it, like remixing in a game I've ever seen. Or listen, you all heard, I guess you could say. It's such a fucking good fight. I'm taking damage, because I'm smart. Oh, that's right, I'm going to use the fucking boomerang. Shitlord. I have a water's poison again, by the way. Get down here, you fuck. Let's mortal draw this bitch. Hey. What's up? What's poppin'? What's poppin', B? Is that what the kids say? No, the kids don't say that no more. Oh! Auto-tracking overhead in my Dark Souls. Phase two, baby. Let's go. This is also a really good asset reuse, in like, a fun way. Oh fuck. Boots. Good neutrals, man. Good, good blocks. Good blocks. So that's the part where you put the boots on. To quote Iron Maiden directly, die with your boots on. Wait, is that Iron Maiden? Wait, fuck. Am I getting my metal quotes mixed up? Do it, you fuck. Fucking shitlord. Why would you... Why would you do this? I've got two theories. Don't panic, kids. Why don't we go for a transition? I'm going to open Firefox really quickly if I can and check if... Because I feel like, yeah... Dive your boots on. Yeah, dive, dive your boots on, Zion Maiden. What am I thinking of? I was getting mixed up with fairies wear boots by Black Sabbath. That's happened. When I knew it wasn't. I think it was Iron Maiden. I don't, don't know why I fucking second guessed myself there. Will the bad man kill Link, Mommy? No, Link's fine, trust me. Link's gonna be fine. Here we go. Yeah, fuck. Oh, wait, you really can't take the fairy underwater? Um. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> this. We can't take the fairy underwater, so fuck that, I guess. Hey, fuck it. Nice. I wish I could. I wish I had taken the chip, to be quite honest. Because you wouldn't have to listen to the sound for another 10, 15 seconds. Alright. Now phase two of this third phase. He does this. Now we gotta... It's like a little shell game, in fact. Which one? Yeah. She'll let myself get hit. I will, don't worry. Ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Ah, uh, we won't be put out of our, either of our miseries. Ah, perfect. Let's take the hit. Get in. It is good how you've only got to do each part twice, sir. Generally speaking. Best phase. I've got the boots off. Nice. I go hit it again. What am I doing? Oh my god. It's 
spoilers, and I don't know if this is going to happen now, before or after. I'm thinking of making an edit of the song. I've, done, I've run some tests. While I should have been editing Astral Chain stuff like a few weeks ago. I think I'm definitely going to, in fact. I've got some cool ideas with this. Particularly this face. Oh, are you ready? Change the beat. It's so fucking cool. I'm gonna take more damage from ice. Not that that really matters. And this is amazing. Perfect sense of comedic timing and everything's in. Can we get the Dominion Rod in this fight? One use for it. No? Okay. Oh, here's a cool part. I should be looking at the floor. Not that it matters too much. But yeah, no, this whole fight is so much fun. Oh, fuck. Get... Get it. The music... The way it remixes everything, it's fucking great. Okay, one more time. Where are you, Zan? Lovely. I whipped. As engaging as fighting the fight the giants in Dark Souls 3. The ones in the Cathedral. You know the ones. The, oh, one, like one or two hits off. Because that does a little more damage. Alright, here we go. I used to do this a lot more cleanly back in the day. But, eh. Alright, this guy's got good corner pressure. Use some skills. You will see that corner pressure in one second. Which way is he coming from? Corner pressure in three, two, one. Alright. Pace is speeding up. Where is he? Up. Oh. I've got one more theory, so he cares. Here he comes. Get the spin. Oh, he teleports. Don't drop your shield. This is this isn't Dark Souls. Fuck. <laughs> Look at this fucking lariat. Put the sand geef to shame. Put the Cinderella to shame, my man. Unironically, my favorite Pokemon. I'm sure I mentioned that. Usurp Blaziken is my favorite. Oh. Which way is he coming from? You can always lock on, it seems like, as long as you time it. I think this is going to be the last one. Nope, I fucked it up, that's why. I wanted to go for a cheeky mortal draw. So as you can see, that shit don't work. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't time it right, otherwise I could have totally done it. I want to get mortal draw so much. Come on. There we go. I'm not going to though, no way. Ah. Oh. He's too good, he knows my game plan. I'm trying to style. I'm trying to get the kill with the Luigi kick. All right. Dan's tired of this fight, he wants, he wants to be put out of his misery. Christ. I'm trying to style on him too much, yeah, fuck this. All right, sorry Dan. I've shown off your moveset enough. Now please, allow me to win. Okay, one more hit or something. Yeah, he wants he wants to be done. So long, fucker. 
Yeah, I gave that too much time, but who cares? You only ever get to do it once, unless you replay 90% of the game. See you later, Space Cowboy. Now that would get me done for copyright, I'm sure. Putting... Putting fucking... Why am I getting the name? What is it? Home... What? I know... Blue... Why am I forgetting? I'm a fucking fraud. Holy shit, how am I forgetting Cowboy Bebop music? Sorry. Emotional scene and all that. Yeah, real fuck blues. God damn it. Anyway, sorry for all the clicking. Um, you traitors. Mm-hmm. All you saw is a lust for power burning in your people. Old sword, sorry, I fucked that up anyway. Hmm. Yeah, someone could a little, little greedy. Little greedy, just saying. Foolish. Foolish fool. The curse on you cannot be broken. It was placed on you by the magic of my god. The power you held. <laughs> nah, that sounds dumb. Um, we'll never return. That shit's never come back. He has descended and has been reborn in this world. His world, where life is strong. Sonic 2006 is not good, just saying. My master, Ganon. Never mind that shit. Here comes Ganon. I mean, sorry, here comes hair tendrils. Masaka, I did that. Oh. <gasps> Surprised anime voices, sounds, whatever. The... Yeah. <laughs> the evil power Zed was wielding, I couldn't take it from him. At least I saw the magic of my ancestors, my bloodline technique. I can return a cherished power Zelda bestowed upon me. Yeah, let's go help Zelda. Now the Ganon's back, not like I'm gonna do anything in between. Yeah, I'm too lazy. Let's uh... Let's just, you know, Uber Eats us or whatever the fuck you kids do. Learn how to cook. Cowards, I don't care about your... Your situations that dictate that ordering food's easier. How dare you. Um, yeah. This is a joke. If, if that's how you have to legitimately get food, I ain't gonna judge. Anyway. We're done. We're done here. Episode just about over. Um, Cave of Ordeals. Um, hopefully gonna get those pose. Some of... Yeah, some of which are in that temple. That will dungeon. What am I saying? Alright, well. LP's still going. Two more bits left. I think. And my voice is going. Oh, great. Well, bye. Fuck, uh, fuck this. <laughs> Ugh, water. Water. <sighs> now, guess we're not done. Uh, in the words of Joseph Joestar, run away from the demon canteen. Sucks that so many parts of that abridged series are down. Off YouTube at least. Probably on Daily Motion or whatever. Man, and for sure a funny guy, but I don't think anyone needs to tell you that. Would today's youth like a bridge series? That's what I wonder. It doesn't really matter to be quite honest. They're entitled to like what they like. Except for that TikTok thing. That, uh, I don't get it. It's strange and weird. Anyway, enough of this shit. Um, I guess we're done here. I'm gonna hunt down some posts. And then... You... In the Gerudo Mesa.
I wonder if Gordon Freeman's down there. Ha ha ha, get it, Mesa? Yeah. Ah, uh, well, for the meantime, I don't know where the ghosts are. I think there's one here, but one that drove me insane. I'm gonna go get it. If it's not one, I'm even crazier. So see you later. And now I've just remembered I can do this, so screw it, guess this ain't the end. I will be cutting the in-between, no doubt. There are a few of these around. There's one I couldn't fucking figure out at fucking Spirit Cave, so uh, be working that on <laughs> that out on my own time when I'm not going crazy on camera. I mean, well, not going nearly as crazy. You know. Cause. Oh, good chest. How nice. If that had have been a goddamn stamp, if that had have been a stamp, I would have been fucking livid. <laughs> uh, anyway. See you later for real, I guess. Yeah, make contact. Ah, fucker, let's just drop. Bye.